Now, let's listen to this. <sighs> she, I really took pity of her when she came to see me only about two weeks, three weeks ago. And what did they say? Uh, do kimo. Kimo. Carbo platin. Or injection. Huh? And then nafelin, oral. Huh? Nafelin, nafelin. Oh, never been. Yeah, oral. Yeah. Yeah, and also he asked me to do injection this hops for net, that's for the... Oh, uh, also for the bone. Yeah. Do you know how much it's going to cost you for just doing this? The chemo, it will be cost around 7,000 per cycle. Chemo, how much? 7,000 7, per one. Per cycle. Per cycle. And then it's 6 cycle. Mm -hmm. Then it's uh, one around 1,700. 1,700 per injection. And I need to do it monthly. Monthly, yeah. yeah. Okay, when he say, ask you to do this, you ask, thank you, Anna. Thank you, Anna. They are not sure. They are not sure. Yeah. The, the doctor say you must do chemo. Then, did he ask the doctor, thank you, Anna? The doctor say not sure. <laughs> now, doctor. Doc. Doc, let's be honest about it. Please give me an honest answer. Do you know if you are a scientist? If you are a scientist. Okay? And this is what I taught my student for the last 26 years when I was in USA. Okay. If to be to be scientific, to be scientific, if you want to say yeah, you are scientific, what you should be able to do is this. If you do something, you can repeat it. You do again the same thing, you repeat it. Repeat and repeat, you get the same result. That's science. If you free, then you do something, cannot get, do something, cannot get. There's no, no science in it. So, you to, be, to be scientific, you must be able to repeat. Repeat, repeat, repeat. A few ten times, then you say, ha, they see, I tell you already, why I do like that, how they work like that. That's scientific. Okay? And if you are able to repeat, you are also able to predict. Ah, you come in like this, you got this tumor, if you do like it, my chances is that you're going to be like this. That is science. Not coming out on the space paper and saying that's scientific. That's not scientific. Okay? Writing in a newspaper or writing in a medical journal is not a criteria for science. To be scientific, to be really truthful, then you should be able to repeat and you can be able to predict so that when people come to see you, oh, this is a situation, you should be able to say yes and no. All right? Now, let me ask you this question. This doctor that he, she went to, if she were to see only 20 patients a day, for one week, you will possibly see a lot of patients. All right? For one month, it will mean that he possibly have seen cancer cases, maybe 400 patients. That means 5,000 patients a year. That's what oncologists possibly, I mean, I'm just guessing. If you have seen 5,000 people a year, and if you have been doing this work for the last 10 years, that means you have seen 50,000 people. Yes, I have seen more than 50,000 for the last 16 years that people come and see me. But I'm not oncologist, they don't line up to see me. They just come drop by and say hello to me and then we just chit chat. Even that, I see many people. Let me ask you, then this lady went to see that doctor. And he has been seeing so many people like that. Can he tell me, I, if I were to do this, it can work or not? But he tell you, not sure. Why not sure? The answer is simple. It may work. It cannot work. And what else? That's all. Thanks to me. Why not sure? Why don't you give a correct answer? An honest answer? You know, when you come and see me, you, are, you get devastated. But I can tell you straight away, you come here, you got cancer, you got no cure. I'm sorry. Nobody can cure cancer in this world. I tell you straight. But if you want to be happy and live a happy life, that's okay. Then maybe we can. But you ask me to cure, the answer is no. Because I have seen enough and I don't think there's any cure. So I'm going to be honest to you. Alright? Now, let's see what this lady is. That's the picture. <coughs> now,
the scan and also the PET scan. Those of you, the black spots are the cancer there. His bone, you go and count how many spots? 29 spots. 29 spots. Cancer in, in her bone. Went to this doctor and she said, you must do chemo and you have to pay me $52,000. Imagine Indonesia have to bring one bag full of rupees to pay that out money. $52,000 to treat her. When she asked, thank you or not? Answer is not sure. Why not sure? Where is your expertise? You've been seeing people. 29 spots. Have you ever treated people with 5 spots and got cured? If you cannot cure 5 spots, I don't think you can cure 29 spots. Okay? Now, you don't have to be a doctor to, to know the real answer, the real honest answer. This a lady, he said, there is no cure for metastatic breast cancer. It never goes away. You just move from one treatment to the other treatment and another treatment and a third one. And the time comes, you just die. That is the answer. So if I were the person, I would have said, yeah, there is no cure. If that's a real answer to me. If you think you get an honest answer, think twice. Now, now, there's just a housewife telling, what about medical doctor telling about medical doctor? You will read this book, and she is an actress, okay, Susan Somers, and then she interviewed a doctor by the name of Nicholas Gonzalez. She, he is a doctor in New York, and this is what Dr. Gonzalez said. It is hard for me to believe that an oncologist who has gone through four years of college, four years of medical school, three years of residency, and three years of oncology post-residency. That means he possibly has studied 14 years of medicine already. It is hard for me to believe people who have studied 14 years of medicine, okay, that they don't know how to connect the dots. You have to be an idiot not to be aware that most of the cancer, most of the cancer's chemo isn't doing anything. Chemo does not work for most of the cancer. It's all in the medical journals. 90% of the patients who call my office has been brutalized by this orthodox system. My staff just sits there dumbfounded by their stories. Story after story every day. This happened to me too in Pulau Pinang. Day after day, I got people come cry and cry. It's the same sad story. All right. And Dr. Gonzalez said, you have to be an idiot if you do not know the answer. I'm sorry, it is hard, but I'm not saying that. Huh? <laughs>